All right, so this function skills question requires us to mess around with some angles a bit. I'm just gonna make a couple of notes before we start. First of all, angles in a triangle, triangle, oh, I've got an extra letter in there. Angles in a triangle, ow. Uh, they make 180 degrees. Um, and actually that's probably all we need for now. Let's, let's see what the question's like. Here is a pentagon, so it might not look quite like what you expect a pentagon to look like, but that's okay, it's got five sides, it's a pentagon. The pentagon has one line of symmetry, and we can probably see that that line goes right down the middle. Work out the size of the angle marked X, write your answer in the box below. Now something that might help us is if I just make this 125 a little bigger, not particularly well drawn, but we know that this whole thing is 125 degrees. But we also know from this bigger picture that this part of the angle here, um, let, me just, let me get rid of that actually. We know that this part of the angle is a right angle because, um, because of uh, how these lines are formed. So if that's 90 degrees, then how big does this bit need to be so that all together is 125? So does that, I think that, I think that makes sense. Th this entire thing is 125, this bit is 90, so whatever extra you need to add to 90 to make 125, that's how big this part is. Uh, so if I, might as well use the calculator, if I do 125 minus 90, then the answer is 35, and that is how big this needs to be. So I, I can put a 35 degrees there, because that's 90. So I think that makes sense, right? Like if, if the square part is 90, then you add another 35 and you get the whole 125. So that tells me that this angle is 35. Now because of the line of symmetry, if this angle is 35, then this angle is 35. And now we can finally use the rule that I've written up in the corner here. Angles in a triangle add up to 180. So, so far in this triangle at the top, if we just focus on that, so far in that triangle, we've got two lots of 35, which together make 70 degrees. But altogether, they need to be 180. So now we can work out what does this angle at the top need to be so that when you add it to the 70 we've already got, it makes a total of 180. And to work that out, I'm going to take away 70, 70 from 180. The answer is 110, which tells me this angle up here is 110 degrees. So to confirm, the reason why, the reason why that's gotta be 110 degrees is because 110 plus 35 plus 35 makes 180. Uh, 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 uh. It does make 180, yeah. And if that 110 was anything else, it wouldn't make 180. That's why it's got to be 110. And that's the calculation we did here. Um, I, think that's, I think that's a decent explanation. So size of the angle marked X is 110. Uh, and that's the answer to the question. So really, it was testing you on whether you knew angles in a triangle add up to 180, but also whether you could break down the 125 into the 90 at the bottom and the 35 at the top, which we needed to, to get the other 35 so that together they make 70 and we can find the missing angle from this triangle where they all add up to 180 together. All right, nice, cool. On to the next one.